All right, Ann, you're on the phone? Yes, I am. Thanks for being patient. Uh, we have up next, uh, Ann, you're going to present to us, it's, a, it's the Committee on Professional Ethics Proposed Amendments to RPC 1.5 AH9 regarding the safeguarding of property. No names are available. And this is, uh, Ann, uh, we'll present, this is our first read, please, all right? Anne. So I have to say, um, I'm also having some trouble hearing people. So please excuse me if I don't, um, if I'm not able to hear things well. Um, so I just wanted to give everyone a little bit of background about this proposal. It's a recommendation about the part of the trust account rule that addresses who can be a signatory on a lawyer trust account. Um, just for background, um, we started looking at this. We had a subcommittee that was actually asked a question about the first sentence of this section. When we looked at the entire section, the subcommittee had some concerns about the second sec sentence, which has to do with the triple LTs. Um, you know, part of it was there's just like a technical problem where it seemed to allow a triple LT who is not part of a firm to be a signatory and actually sign a trust account check alone. Um, but if they were part of the firm, they couldn't do that. But more importantly, we felt that the way that it was set up with the triple LTs was very confusing. Lawyers often struggle to understand all of their trust account requirements. And so we were concerned that lawyers were going to be um, not in compliance with this rule because they didn't understand what it was trying to do. Um, so our subcommittee felt that like we needed to change it. We came up with two possible solutions. One was simply to delete that sentence, which would mean triple LTs could not be signatories on lawyer trust accounts. And the second is what we're proposing is to allow the triple LTs to be a signatory just the same way as a lawyer could be. Um, we felt that that was the better solution. Um, it would help um, small firms or solo practitioners because if there's just one lawyer in the firm and one triple LT, if the lawyer is on vacation or in trial, there could be delays in issuing trust account checks, which would slow down the client's receipt of their money. Um, and, um, you know, so I just, as a background, I was the chair of the trust account subcommittee for Ethics 2003, which instituted this requirement. So before then, anyone could be a signatory on a lawyer trust account. Our subcommittee really struggled with whether or not to add this restriction. Uh, we did it because we, um, you know, I was working at ODC then, and we would periodically have cases where non-lawyers who were signatories were stealing from trust accounts. And so we felt that that was, it was more important to prevent that than to, you know, help smaller firms where they had a bookkeeper as a signatory. Here, um, you know, what, what our subcommittee and the full CPE believed was that there wasn't that concern here because a triple LT is licensed. So if they do do anything inappropriate with the trust account, their license is on the line. So they're very different from the non-lawyer. Um, and so then um, the full CPE approved that uh, our proposal um, we then sent it to the Triple LT board. I went to the Triple LT board and had a conversation with them. My understanding is that they formed a subcommittee, and then they recently voted to, um, you know, in support of what we were proposing. And um, my understanding is that I don't really know how the Triple LT board works, but my understanding is that they're going to make a proposal separately from us. So they're not here today, but... Um, so we're so this is only the CPE's proposal, but the Triple LT board did agree with it. So if, if people have questions, I'm happy to um, answer them. Thanks, Ann. Questions from the board? Anyone? This is a first. This is on for first read, Chris. And thanks. I I am assuming that any firm can impose any internal requirements that it wants with respect to who is allowed to sign trust account checks. So that if my firm employs a triple LT, I'm not required to make that triple LT a signatory on a trust account. This just allows the lawyers to make that 
the lawyers in the firm to make that decision. Is that correct? Yes, that's totally correct. And, and you know, and now a lot of firms greatly limit which lawyers can be signatories. So it, it would be the same thing. The firm decides who would be signatories on a trust on their trust account. Any other questions, Carla? Um, I don't know the answer to this, so hopefully you do. Can triple LTs have their own trust accounts if they're not in practice with an attorney? Or genes? So triple LTs can have their own trust account, and I. Uh, okay, I'm not really an expert on their rules. If Doug Ende is there, he may be able to answer this part better. But my understanding is they could be in a law firm and have their own trust account. But I'm not sure about that. But definitely, if they're not in a law firm, they have their own trust account rule. So they currently can have their own trust account. Um, and uh, so, uh, does that answer your question? Uh, it does. Thank you. And if if Jean or Doug has um, further explanation, I'd be happy to hear it. Jean. And Seidel is correct. The Triple LTs can have their own trust account. They can sign. They operate under essentially the same rules as lawyers do for maintaining trust accounts and the restrictions that are on them. All right. Any other questions for Ann? And when when do you want to see some action on this from the board in terms of a recommendation? I'm guessing. But my. I, w I was told that it would be an action item on the next agenda, but I okay. wasn't given it. I wasn't given any instructions Which, about what to ask for. I just thought that was no. That's cool okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just just was just curious. So it looks like we'll take it up again for action in July, at the uh, yeah, that's, that's yep at the board retreat. Down we'll be in Richland. I was just going to say, I always think it's helpful when something's up for first reading, it's coming back to know if there are some things that more information that's needed so that, or if there are questions, that kind of thing. And if off the top of your head, you may not have any, but if you have questions, governors or concerns or issues, please let's get those to WSBA central so that we can get those answered before July. All right. I think that's it. And thank you. Very much. Sure. Very much appreciated. Sure. And we look forward to uh, hearing from you again in July. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have consumed our entire time period for a recess. Uh, so that being said, we'll take five minutes, and then we'll probably come back to try to get back on schedule. Five minutes, and we'll resume. Thanks.